Hey everyone, I've had some questions on uh, my previous video and uh, the snowblower that I had uh, picked up. And people asking how are the or how is the snowblower working out? So I just want to go over a couple things on this one. It's a uh, Burko Mac um, 48 inch snowblower. It's got 420 cc's on this and it's uh, powered just strictly by unleaded gasoline. Um, it's fully controlled by a joystick on the inside of the cab of the UTV and the way this uh, operates is off the joystick and off the winch that you have on your ATV or UTV whichever you want. I believe there is a couple other models out there. I think there is one that comes out in a uh, 56 inch or a 60 inch. I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. You can just go onto their site and check it out. But uh, I'm going to do a little test, uh, a little run outside, give you guys a little demonstration on how this thing works. However, uh, just to break down the installation of this, uh, you have this cord here. This goes back to your controller over there which you can control your shoot up and down and your rotation of the uh, shoot as well. You have a automatic e-stop on the switch as well uh, that will completely shut down the motor in case you have some issues. And uh, another nice little feature on the controller on the inside is you can actually turn off just the um, the rotators on the inside here of the chutes are not draining the battery when you're say backing up or uh, it's up in the air and you don't want to be uh, uh, using it at its full potential. And what it does now is um, it's both electric start and it's uh, pull start as well. Um, at the beginning when I first bought this thing the electric start didn't work so I had to use the pull start and brand new it started off uh, or started up on its um, second pull which was fantastic and then later down the road I found out there was a bad connection in the connector that comes from the factory. The uh, battery connection was not completely pu pushed in and so that uh, the um, battery was not making contact with the actual electric start so it was not firing up and all I had to do is push the wire down in and uh, she's working great now. So what, the way this thing is mounted is this this beast here is uh, separate from the rest of the uh, the system and you have a bar that goes right through and I can drop it and then pull it off if I wanted to do that way but w what it is or how this one works is this shaft here runs all the way underneath your uh, ATV or UTV and hooks up on the back end of the um, unit onto a trailer hitch and it's all connected, it's um, multiple lengths, so you can, uh, depending on the size of the UTV or ATV you have, you can make it uh, adjustable to that length. And uh, so that will give you your push when you're uh, blowing the snow. On the inside here, I have a bunch of chains that are connected. Uh, they're connected to your uh, frame or what I tied on to here is to my uh, tie rods for my um, suspension and that prevents the unit from swaying back and forth. Now they do come with clips that you can um, bolt right onto your um, your suspension or your frame however they came uh, also with these straps, nylon straps, that I, I'm, I like better because it's easier to adjust and take off and take on or put on and take off and uh, so that helps you with your side to side movement. And the way you raise and lower the Burko Mac uh, is with your uh, winch that you have here. So I have a worn winch on here and uh, there's a little pulley right here, let me show right here, there's a little pulley, you pull the cotter pin out, this bolt slides in, or slides out should I say, and then you run your um, your air, airline cable through this and then you slide back the pulley system and then on the inside here there's a connection point that will uh, lift your um, snow blower up and it'll pivot right on, down here at the bottom onto these wheels. So once this 
bar here comes to here, your max. And uh, it, it works very well if you ask me. Uh, I've had no issues with this thing. Um, uh, and then you have your battery cables here that get connected directly to your uh, get connected directly to your battery. That way, there's no um, that way if you know that you're, you're always going to have juice when you need it. Now some of the other models uh, connect differently. Uh, not the Burkel Max, but other brands out there they connect a little differently. But uh, these ones had the best review. And from uh, my experience right now. This thing uh, really um, is worth the money. I'm going to sh show you the joystick, so you might not see me in the frame here, but you can uh, lower the chute uh, like that. You can raise it up like that, and then it does a full rotation, 180 degrees, which is perfect. I'm not going to show you that because there's no point because. Uh, what I'm going to do now in a second is uh, open up these doors here and run outside and uh, show you how this thing is uh, put in action.
Well, there you have it. This is uh, the Burko Mac 48-inch uh, snowblower. Anybody with these uh, larger properties that require a lot of snow to be moved, you can either use a blade, but what I found is that uh, you, you leave a huge uh, curb along your driveways around your property. Uh, that's kind of why I have the the curbs on the property right now before we moved in the uh, guy taking care of the property used a blade on his pickup truck so you can only push it and uh, not actually throw it away from the property um, and it's easy to disconnect now so I just take the chains off the bottom uh, disconnect the quick release on the battery um, and then disconnect the trailer hitch on the back of the of the um, unit and uh, I'm ready to go and move on to something else. So thanks for tuning in and on to the next thing.